Hey guys, Sai here, and we're back again with another Pokemon tier list, and this time this is one that hits me really hard in the feels, because this one is Johto. We're going all the way back to the region that started it all for me, and we're going to decide what we like and what we didn't like, which I think is probably going to be the more up-for-topic conversation. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's start it all off with where it began. So you've got, as your starter Pokemon, you've got your Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and Totodile, which frankly, they're all actually quite cool Pokemon. Now I know everybody bashes Chikorita, but Chikorita for me actually wasn't that bad. I have a save. I have a save of Pokemon Soul Silver, where I booted the game up for the first time and got a shiny Chikorita. I'm not even kidding. That happened. I have not overwritten that save, nor have I played the game since, just so you know, because I just couldn't do it. I couldn't bring myself to, like, save over that game. So for me, Chikorita, it's not shiny, but I'm putting it in B because it definitely isn't A or S. <laughs> That's for sure. Bayleaf, frankly... Bayleaf, frankly, I actually quite like. Even if it does look like it has kind of, like baguettes sticking out the side of its neck i think i actually really like this pokemon again i'm gonna put it onto b tier meganium quite frankly i could never really get away with though don't know what it was about meganium it just looked dumb it was a bit of a tank but it just looked dumb now we're getting on to my favorite starter period by the way favorite starter this is Cyndaquil. It's going in S tier. It's cute as heck, and no one saw it coming. In fact, the entire evolution line goes in this sort of fashion because you're looking at the Chikorita, which is a crap grass type, but still pretty cool because it adds a, a bit of a sentimental value to me. And then you've got Cyndaquil, who's just going to thrash it day in, day out. Look at it. It's so cute. Not only is it so cute, but Typhlosion and Quilava, so good. I can remember teaching Quilava Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch. In what universe should that learn Thunder Punch? But I don't care because it's brilliant. It's all up and it's ready to go. And Typhlosion is just such a damn powerhouse of a Pokemon. Not sure what they did with it in history, but we're going to talk about that. Uh, Totodile. Totodile's A tier because honestly, it's it's a cute little dumb thing. And if you see it in the anime, it's all like tot, 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 and I just absolutely love, I have no idea why I said that, but it has, <laughs> but it looks looks so cool. Croconaw, frankly, it's just garbage. I don't, I don't know why and where they went so wrong with Croconaw to Feraligator, but they just it just went from being so damn cute to so damn stupid to so damn cool with Feraligator, and it just didn't make any sense whatsoever to me. But Feraligator honestly slaps. Feraligator was really really strong. It was Syndical that I mainly used in my actual playthroughs, but out of these, that's where we sit. Sentret, it's got a special place in my heart. I remember the first time I saw it and was like, what is this? What is this Pokemon? And why is it in front of me? Why is it not a Rattata? You know, genuinely, I'm going to put it in C grade. It's not outstanding. It probably deserves to go a bit lower, but because it just has that first like shock impression on me, it definitely belongs in C tier. Now, for it, for it's a different story. For it is cute as heck. It's not incredible, but it's so damn good. And you've got that meme where it's like, I got to keep on moving. And frankly, I love that meme, and it just sits and trots in my mind forever and ever. Amen. Uh, Hoot Hoot sucks. I don't care who knows it. Um, it doesn't belong there. Hoot's not a very good Pokemon. I don't like it. In only appeared at night time and i very rarely got a chance to play at night time um so i never really saw much of it it wasn't that good for me i just didn't like it knocked out was a bit cooler had a really good sort of vibe to it and uh again it was a nighttime kind of thing makes sense it's a fucking owl uh but uh you know how it goes i think it's okay it wasn't really my jam but i thought it was okay uh lediba uh lediba honestly i could do without it wasn't the greatest of pokemon i can live with it being there it's not the greatest of all ledian i'm actually going to do a very similar thing to these last two but ledian utterly underused 
should be given another evolution. Not sure how, but it should be given another evolution just because I think it'd be so freaking dope to see. A spinner act used to scare the crap out of me as a child. Yeah, you deserve to go there. Ariados, on the other hand, honestly, I think deserves to go there. It's got a really cool looking body and like the actual model of it and design of it, I think is pretty dope. I never even noticed this, right? Just looking at the sprite, the, like the model there. I don't remember ever, it, ever it having <laughs> it ever having a horn. I have no idea why that's the first time I feel like I've seen that. Okay, moving on to Crobat. Now, the evolution that nobody asked for, but really turned that Pokemon into something crazy. I honestly really like Crobat. Very powerful, very, very strong, very fast Pokemon. Did a lot more than I thought it would ever do. And I like that. I really like that about it. Lantern. The first water, I believe it's the first water electric type. And uh, not Lantern, Chin Chow. I quite liked the model, but hated Lantern. <laughs> like it was one of these things where it's like, oh wow, you got such a cool looking new Pokemon, such a new idea and such a great thought. And why the fuck has it turned into this thing? This, why are you there? Like, why is this a thing? But that's fine lantern is what it is bless it uh pichu honestly i could just do without pichu <laughs> i'm not even kidding like the only thing it was good for was mocking people in smash bros to be fair all right i'm gonna be really harsh here barring one i'm gonna be really harsh here because i just didn't see the point of them they were already baby looking as clefairy and jigglypuff and even pikachu to an extent i don't think they needed a baby form Togepi, on the other hand, was a different story because the whole mystery egg and everything where that all came to pass was really, really clever, really well done. And the fact that it's a Pokemon fresh out of the egg, I think is really cool. And the fact that it then becomes Togetic, which I'm actually going to put higher because it's a very powerful Pokemon, especially in latter generations, especially when it gets Togekiss. Holy crap, Togekiss slaps. But the fact that the shell actually becomes part of the pokemon is really clever i really like that got a lot of time for that got a lot of time for that okay so natu as leon hart would say natu how do you do i actually quite like natu i didn't use it much but i quite liked it and zatu no the zatu i moved my mouse way too far there and zatu honestly is okay it looks pretty cool but I remember going to the ruins of Alf and finding um, finding Zatu's in some of the grass. I thought it was really cool. Okay, guys, we're moving into my second S tier here. Hello, Mareep. That first time I saw this freaking sheep, I was like, oh my god, it's a thunder sheep. Then it turned into Fluffy, and I was like, oh, they're going a little bit further away from where I liked it. It's kind of gone from being a cute little... A cute little, um, a cute little sheep into a bit of a piece of shit, and then out came Ampharos, and the lighthouse Pokemon just does it all. It was so cool. I know it's, I know I'm not putting it in S tier, even though I'm bigging it up. I know I'm not putting it in S tier, and there's a reason for that, and that's because it felt very glass cannony, and I know that's kind of its jam, but I can remember using Zap Cannon with this Pokemon. It's just doing so much damage and not having so much fun. But I, it just doesn't have the same S rank appeal that Mareep does for me. Okay, so Blossom. Now, this is a weird one because I believe Blossom, you had to evolve it using evolve using a Sunstone, uh, which obviously I believe was also introduced in this game. And frankly, I'm cool with that. I was really clever. But it was okay. It wasn't amazing. It did a lot of damage, though. I'll say that. I don't know, I liked it. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. I can't make up my mind. Honestly, don't like it. Again, gave birth to another baby Pokemon that just shouldn't have existed in Azumarill, which I'm sure we'll get to in the next tier list. Uh, but yeah, that's... That's just kind of my thinking behind that one. Pseudo Wudo, however, that that was an interesting Pokemon. That first time you see this thing, I remember pressing on it, and the first thing that came up was this little wavy gravy tree where it goes. Chick -chick -chick. It just sort of shakes from side to side, and you're like, "Excuse me, what? 
what, 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 what is this? It was just pretty, pretty freaking crazy. Polytoad. I never used it. Never once did I use Polytoad. I don't know why. I just never used it. Hopip, really cute Pokemon. Um, to be fair, this entire line, right? This entire line belongs on the same on the same spec because it was they were it was actually a really cool Pokemon. The high, the idea of like the hop skip jump kind of thing is really cool. Hopip's Kaplume and Jumpluff just kind of did it for me. They did well. I liked it. I genuinely liked it. It was good fun, and I can remember it. I can remember using Sweet Scent a lot with it to kind of attract Pokemon. I thought, that was a, I thought that was certainly an interesting thing of it. Apom, I hate. Absolutely hate it. Um, don't know why. Never got on with it. It was hard to find. It wasn't that impressive in battle. And it was just pretty dull. It was just pretty dull. Sunken, pretty useless. Sunflora, pretty useless. Yanma, mm. Okay, Yanma we might actually put in S tier. Very biased opinion, but I love dragonflies. Absolutely love dragonflies. They are beautiful. The colors are vibrant. Uh, vi vibrant. Pff, vibrant. The shiny form of Yanma is incredible. The blue is so good. It belongs in S tier for me. I'm sorry if anybody disagrees. Come at me, bro. Whooper. Whoop day it is. It's cute as crap, man. Oh my god. Only outdone by its Paldean form and only when it evolves. So, yeah. But seriously, Quagsire... Uh, Quagsire was cute. What can I say? Okay, you guys know what's coming. Espeon is literally my favorite evolution. It belongs in S tier. It's in the name, Espeon. Not only that, the German form of it, the German naming of it is called Sayana literally straight in the heart straight to the feels baby umbreon i liked it but i didn't use it as much as espion but it was still a great pokemon good very strong very powerful pretty tanky and it was not bad at all uh murkrow again nighttime pokemon but i actually didn't mind murkrow i thought it was a bit better than like the hoot hoot and the noctowls line especially when it gets its for its next evolutionary form in honchkrow and the coming in up up and coming uh slow king S right so do you remember the storyline i can't remember i think it's a, a azalea town when you uh when you go to the rocket hideout in the well um or in the sort of cave system around there and you got the slow poke cave like the fact they should have done something where it was like a storyline built into that, where they were like the cutting off the slowpoke tails. Boo! T Rocket Stink! Um, so, yeah, I, I was really sort of. I was hoping they would might have like put something in there for Slowking, but Slowking's actually a really cool Pokemon. It was a very interesting design. Cool change, obviously, uses the King's Rock for evolution. It was really, really good. Uh, Mischievous. Uh, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure Mischievous is like one of the only if not actually i think it might be the only ghost type that they added to this game is that right i think that's right i mean it was okay uh, uh, yeah i'm gonna put it on c tier it was okay mischievous was okay it was an all right book one unknown fucking pointless uh wobbuffet if you've ever watched uh seven deadly sins anime full counter there we go um, we'll pop pop uh, Wobbuffet on there just because it's so ludicrously dumb and I love it. Uh, Girafferig, genuinely a pretty cool Pokemon. Very interesting idea and I'm super glad that it got an evolutionary form. Interesting idea, pretty poor execution. Pineco, again, very difficult to find. Uh, no, actually, sorry, it wasn't that difficult to find. Um, I'm thinking of a different Pokemon, which we'll come to probably pretty soon. So Pineco, pretty cool, pretty cool Pokemon, but not amazing for fortress kind of the same if i'm being completely honest it's kind of the same i'm sorry guys i'm sorry dunsparce okay in terms of cute dunsparce is s tier in terms of usability dunsparce is e tier in terms of where i'm gonna put dunsparce i'm gonna put it in b tier because i still like it it's still a cool pokemon uh, Gligar as well. Oh, do you know what? Actually, Gligar I'm going to put in A tier because I actually really like Gligar. It's a very cool idea of a Pokemon and it works. It works, man. 
I loved it. Steelix, they did their best, but it, I feel like very few people actively chose to use it because of the method of which you had to get it done. So like back in the day, you had to do the whole trading, or you still kind of do, but like the, the trading to get them, it's all well and good, but so many people, like I didn't have that many friends that had the link cables and I couldn't afford one when I was a kid. So I was lucky enough to have the game and a Game Boy. But yeah, I never really used to use it. Snobble and Gramble, they're just not great. I don't like them. Quillfish is 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 D is E tier because it just it's freaking pointless. It was cool to see, and obviously now we have Overquill, which is really cool. Eh, I just don't really like it. Scizor. We have another S tier, folks. Scizor was and still can be my shiny hunter. I'm currently using Gallade, but I really want a Scizor. I need to do a shiny hunt for a Scyther, actually pin that one in the diary. Shuckle, everyone's favorite rock type. Shuckle, so good. And Heracross, I just dropped three S tiers in a row there. Shuckle's fantastic because obviously, you know, I remember the first time I found one when, I, when using Rock Smash and it was just like, the, the, the what? I felt really bad because I was just like, if I just smash the crap out of this thing's uh, like <laughs> shell. But yeah, Shuckle's really good. Blue, blue shiny form, really freaking cool. Heracross, honestly, amazing Pokemon. Finally, I was like, finally, a true good sort of like put together with Scyther because Pinsir was just crap in comparison to Scyther. But then you've got Heracross finishing off that line and it was like monster of a Pokemon, absolute monster of a Pokemon. I loved it super strong but man that pokemon was hard to find <laughs> okay we're gonna move into sneasel now now sneasel's a really cool pokemon super quick but you only got it very late game and i wasn't mm, it's gonna go in c tier it's a cool looking pokemon teddy ursa q as heck b tier good job uh ursaring never used it all that much uh d tier unlucky uh slug my balls <laughs> got he one of the few fire types that are in the game that were not just in the game like introduced in the game it was only like the what was it like the starters you've, you've got slugma houndu magby sure and then obviously ho -Oh. i'm probably missing one out like entei i suppose it's okay that's about it mag cargo honestly could do without <laughs> it's, it's not amazing swinub i can't put it any higher than c because honestly it really freaking pains me to use that pokemon it really does it really really does uh pile of swine much the same yeah corsola again a pretty useless pokemon but it was strongish it wasn't amazing but it was okay again hard to find like i remember it taking ages to figure out that i could just find it on what was it like the the third route or something like that it was insane i couldn't believe that it was just so close to everything but it is what it is here we are uh remoraid never used it i can't put it there but i'm definitely putting octillery in e tier because octillery is just not good remoraid and octillery were fine as pokemon but never really lived up to the hype deli bird amazing pokemon i love it it's utterly useless in battle as far as i'm concerned but it was fun to use mantine I like the, I like Manta Rays. They're so damn good. And the fact that it's got the Remoraid like underneath it suggests how big Mantine actually is, even though when you see it on the on the like on things it's not as big as it looks, but it's still a very cool looking Pokemon. Not only that, I thought I used it quite a bit. It took me a while to find one, but I took I used it and it was really good, really powerful Pokemon. I, I enjoyed it. Skarmory. Steel type, flying type, absolutely incredible. It's going into A tier for me. It has to. It's a glorious Pokemon. I love Skarmory. I got all the time in the world for that one, baby. That's a, such a good Pokemon. I love Skarmory. Houndour. Just recently caught the blue shiny variant of it on uh, Scarlet and Violet. First time I've caught the shiny variant of that one. And I actually really like it. Houndour, I think, is really cool. It's not incredible. However, Houndoom 
is a cool Pokemon. It's so strong. It was so good to have on your team. Like, what a good popper. Kingdra, honestly, I never used it. It's cool to have. Do you know what? Yeah, I never used it, but it was cool to have. Um, Fanpy, awesome. Donphan, didn't really use it much. They were, they were, they were fine. Uh, Porygon, too. Again, didn't really use it much. Stantler, again, didn't really use it. We're getting into the like. We're getting to the point now where there are Pokemon just kind of being introduced that were cool enough to look at, but seemed pretty pointless at the same time. The only thing Stantler I thought was good for was, I think it was just before, the, I think you found it in the route, just before the gym with the ghost type gym leader. Um, the only thing good for it was like getting experience. That was the only good thing. That's, that's the only thing that's stopping it from being E tier, I think. Uh, Smeargle. Cool idea. Per execution. <laughs> I'd love to see more of Smeargle. I'd genuinely love to see more of Smeargle. Like, they've gone down, what is it, in, in Paldea, we've now got Grafii and Shrudel. I feel like, instead, they could have just done something with Smeargle and added Smeargle into it and have, like, a variant or something like that. Just my two cents. Tyrogue. Honestly, I didn't... I, didn't, I like the concept of it. I like the idea of being able to like train it up, and obviously, if it had higher, what was it? If it had higher attack, it was hit one channel. If it had higher defense, it was hit one lee. If it had, if the two of them was the exact same number, then you'd get hit one top, which obviously is this Pokemon, which is going a little higher because I actually quite like hit one top. Tyro was mind melting for kids, but I was fine with it. Like it, it was fine, but it just wasn't really that good. Smoochum honestly could do one. It's another baby type that nobody asked for. Um, Elicate the same. Magby, I've got a little bit more appreciation for because it's quite cute. Um, uh, do you know what? No, I can't even justify it. No, no, I can't justify it. I can justify it. I'm going to. Okay, Miltank. This Pokemon kind of freaks me out a little bit. Especially in like the later generations when you see it, the sprite moving. And you see it like sort of doing this, but its nipples are just bouncing, and you're just sat there looking at it, going, "I don't, I, 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 I don't know, I don't, I, 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 you just don't know where to look." Man, that shit's scary. It's pretty funny though. So a tip. <laughs> Plus, there's so many people that hate it just for that thing altogether. I remember. Oh, I think it was Roxy, Roxanne's. Yeah, Roxanne's mill tank. That's the thing. Roxanne's mill tank. Stop it. Get some help. Roll out. Destroyed me. I actually got a lot of appreciation for mill tank and I ended up using it in a lot of my runs. Bliss is shit. I'm sorry. I love you, Blissy, but you're literally just an XP whore. Damn! The legendary dogs. The best thing about them was the chase. Hunting them down was so much fun. It was so much fun. The fact that you just had to look forever trying to find them. And it was just purely luck based. And you didn't have them in the Pokedex. You just encountered them and you'd be like, whoa, there it is. Madness. So for that matter, here we go. Raikou I really liked. Entei I didn't like as much. Suicune was absolute S tier. So good. So damn good. The Pseudos, Lavatar, Pupitar, Tyranitar. Tyranitar is strong, real strong. Pupitar, honestly, I don't even know why it's there. Lavatar, it's, it's fine, but Tyranitar was really good. Getting another S tier now, guys, in Lugia. The first major legendary that I succeeded I might tell you a story about one of my original games. The first legendary that I succeeded in catching. What a Pokemon. Aeroblast. The first time I used Aeroblast. And I mean, bearing in mind, obviously, this is like back in the day. This is like back in the day when I was uh, barely playing the games. And it does that like that twist into the blast was just 
that was insane like <laughs> but uh, seriously aeroblast was just so cool the sound effect and everything to it was just insane ho oh, using sacred fire another really cool one and celebi i never got but it's still a very cool pokemon i love this generation this generation quite literally made the world that uh, was my world for a good long time it was my world i absolutely loved it it's very sad the way that obviously the games now like the cartridges themselves are now very difficult to not only come by but have them in a working condition uh, but i'm very happy with what i chose uh on this one this is a good tier list this one hit real this one hit really close to home god the days when things were simpler what do you guys think if you enjoy the video leave a like and the video that would be amazing it helped me out massively hit that subscribe button that would mean a lot we're closing as of right now we're closing it on 200 sub subscribers and i appreciate the heck out of all of you i can't wait to see your thoughts on what i picked i can't wait for you to tell me what i'm wrong with and what you agree with so please Leave a comment in the section below of what you think about this list and what you'd have made it maybe changed or put differently. Stay amazing, stay positive, guys. Have an amazing day. Sigh out. I'll see you soon.